The armamentarium used includes mouth mirror, tweezer, explorer, excavator, handpiece, articulating paper, cotton roll, curing light and PMS. We use number 23 shepherd's hook explorer which has two ends that is pigtail and cow horn. The materials used here are 37% phosphoric acid as agent and pit and fissure sealant. For isolation purpose, we use a rubber dam kit. The first step in pit and fissure sealant is patient selection. Children and adolescents who are assessed as being at high care risk are ideal patients for pit and fissure sealant. In the public dental service, a targeted population sealant program should be considered for all individuals in specific high care risk groups such as children attending special schools or designated disadvantaged schools. The second step is tooth selection. In children and adolescents, a priority should be given to sealing first and second permanent molar teeth. When indicated, sealant should be applied as soon as the permanent molars are sufficiently erupted to be isolated. The indications and contraindications of pit and fissure sealant application has been covered in our previous video. When possible, a forehanded technique should be used for the placement of pit and fissure sealants. The pits and fissures in fully erupted teeth that may display discoloration which is confined to the size of a pit or fissure or may extend to the cuspal inclines surrounding a pit or fissure. There should be no localized enamel breakdown due to caries. The black discoloration seen here is not dental caries. I have highlighted the pits and fissures so that it is more clearly visible. The next step is isolation. The teeth should be clean, dry and well illuminated for visual assessment. Moisture control is the most crucial aspect of pit and fissure sealant placement and therefore absolute isolation using a rubber dam is preferred. As a result of inadequate isolation, the enamel porosities formed during etching can be filled by any fluid blocking the resin tags decreasing the retention of the material. There are cases where absolute isolation is not possible or it is not practical like in the case of newly erupted teeth due to the need for local anesthesia to place the clamp. In such cases, a dry feel can be achieved using cotton rolls combined with effective aspiration. The next step is acid etching. Condition the enamel by etching with 35 to 37% orthophosphoric acid. The gel can be applied either directly with special applicator tips or with a small disposable brush. It should be applied to all the susceptible pits and fissures and extended up to cuspal inclines as well. For permanent molars, the etching time is usually 15 seconds, whereas for primary molars, it is 15 to 30 seconds. Teeth with dental fluorosis requires additional etching time. The next step is rinsing. Rinse well with air water spray until the etchant has been completely washed off from the tooth surface.
After complete rinsing, dry the tooth with uncontaminated compressed air until a frosty white opaque appearance is seen. If cotton roll isolation has been used, replace those cotton rolls. If this appearance is not seen or if the surface becomes contaminated, re-etching has to be done. The next step is sealant placement. Apply pit and fissure sealant and allow it to flow into the pits and fissures. Air bubbles should not be incorporated with the sealant. After placing the sealant, cure the sealant using visible light for a period of 20 seconds. The tip of the curing light should always be held 3 mm to 5 mm from the surface of the sealant. After the sealant has set, wipe the surface with a wet cotton pellet so that air inhibited layer of non-polymerized resin is removed and failure of this step leaves an objectionable taste in the patient's mouth. The next step is sealant evaluation. The sealant has to be evaluated visually and tactically. The final step is to evaluate the occlusion of scale tooth surfaces. Check the occlusion with articulating paper. If there are any high points, reduce it. 5 to 10 percentage of the sealants require repair or replacement annually. Thank you for watching this video.